So good morning. Good morning. We have uh, morning. Audrey and Don Lehman here, longtime uh, congregants. I'm not sure if you guys are members. Are you guys on the membership list? Uh, we are have been members of Lehman and Southside Unity, where we met. And right. Well, and and my, it's it's my understanding, and Harry Drake will attest to this that. You know, once you're a member of Unity anywhere, you are always a member of Unity and are welcome in every Unity church. So, so thank you for coming this morning. Um, how long have you all been in Unity? How many years would you say? I have been in since I was about six. Oh my gosh! And I'm 89. Oh my gosh! So. Um, well, you know what? You know what they say about people who practice metaphysics? You know, they never grow old, they never age. You look extremely young. I mean, nowhere near that. Oh my gosh. So uh, it's worked in your life, I would imagine. And you were one of the fortunate ones to be raised in Unity? Yes, yes. Oh my goodness. We, we, I came uh, with my sister. I had an older child, uh, sibling, and uh, she brought my one brother and younger sister went to Dover Place. It was in a home. Mm -hmm. Reverend Eilers yes. was there at that time. And then uh, we saved enough money and we went to uh, a, home, a store on mm -hmm. Main Street mm -hmm. near South St. Louis. Right. And then we built enough to buy a lot and build our own church. Mm -hmm. And now we had, at that time then, we got into the youth group and everything. We would have 30 children. Oh, how wonderful. Group. Yes. And on Dover Place, in a, in a little cottage, in her basement, the minister left us all be there, and there would be 90 mm -hmm. in the Sunday school. Mm -hmm. So I think it's because they could walk there, mm -hmm. and the neighborhood was blooming with younger families, mm -hmm. and the children walked. Mm -hmm. Well, since you have been, both of you, you know, involved in so long, um, what are, beyond youth group and, you know, being so steeped in this, what are some of your fondest memories about, you know, the Unity experience and Unity Christ Church? Unity Christ Church, at the time when we started, our one son, the oldest, he was in the active in the youth group, and they got active with the youth group in uh, Unity Christ Church. Mm -hmm. So then he met uh, Judy Lambert, and the Lamperts were active coming here, and uh, they, whenever they had a function or something, we would come and visit. Mm -hmm. So they had a lot of different ministers here, and everyone was great. That's good. Did, when you were involved with the youth groups at all, did you get the opportunity to go to Unity Village for any of the Definitely. events? Definitely. Oh, how yeah. oh, wonderful. Don, when he got out of the service, 1946, he was so helped with the daily word in the Navy when he was uh, in there. Abroad, yes. And he ended up coming to visit our church on Bay Street, the Unity Church. So in 1949, we got married, and we went to quite a few. Oh, what a great Unity love story. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> it, it, it's wonderful to go to Lee Summit. Yeah. In fact, yeah. for our Oh, about five years ago, we took all our family. We have 11 grandchildren now, and everyone, all the kids wanted us to take them on the train. And we went, and the mm -hmm. uh, older people uh, mm -hmm. all drove. Mm -hmm. But we went to Unity Village, and they got to see where we walked, mm -hmm. and the grove and so forth. Mm -hmm. So everybody should try to visit mm -hmm. there. Okay. Yeah, Juan Key and I, um, well, as you know, uh, I am a licensed unity teacher, so I spent several summers, falls, and springs going up there and taking classes and experiencing the sacredness of that place and the wonderful vibrations. But um, I graduated a while back, and so now Wanki and I will go up usually in the spring and fall and just get our time, our time away to uh, reconnect with uh, with God and with Spirit, which yeah. is you know, which is what unity is all about. So, uh, going forward, um, what would you guys like to see, or what would your vision be for Unity Christ Church? We've kind of been through the ringer the last few years, as most people know, so like uh, David DeCristo was saying, we're planting new seeds now, and what would you like to see uh, grow back into our church? What well, kept us busy coming here, we would visit a lot of different Unity Churches, and uh, we were very active uh, at Lee and then when our children 
Melbourne and Auburn Mary, uh, we started coming here a little bit more. It depended on what minister was speaking, <laughs> I should say. And uh, they would have, uh, oh golly, we had square dancing, and we had uh, mother and daughter banquets. Mm -hmm. uh, so many people were responsible for getting those going. And I, there were a lot more younger people, and with Wash U right across right. the street, we have to try to get younger right. people, because that's what they need, is a socialness right. to keep them coming. Well, um, that is a great idea, and um, I know we have been working on putting together some committees to have more outreach and publicize events and bring the young people in. So um, I appreciate your time, Don and Audrey. <laughs> but thank you anyway. Um, we're running out of time. So thank you, and, and God bless you for that. <laughs>